Sawe, this is Ben from Latin Tutorial. I'm going to use this video to introduce you to all of the great and in-depth features of the dashboard and user profile section on the revamped nia.co site. So if you're following along, please go there now. When you initially log in to nia.co, you'll be taken to your dashboard, and here you'll be presented with your personal information, your profile picture, and some other stuff to help you get organized. You'll see that I've made the site's helmet image my profile's picture, and on the top right of the page, the same image shows up in the basic user dropdown. My name and email address also show up here, along with when I first created my account. You can also see that I'm a subscriber to the site. If you're still on your seven day free trial, this will be replaced with a gray badge telling you that. I'll talk about subscriptions in another Aenea.co in-depth video. The navigation focuses on personalization, your personalized vocabulary list, personalized sections, both favorite and complete, along with any classrooms you belong to. You can also subscribe from here and edit your profile information. The main dashboard has five panels. The first shows you the section that you most recently visited. Clicking anywhere here will bring you back to that section so you can get back to reading as quickly as possible. The next panel shows the Verbum Quotidianum, the word of the day. This changes at midnight Eastern time, so New York's time, or in my case, Maine time in the US. And you can likewise click on this to be taken to the info page about the word. The information about number of times clicked refers to how often you've clicked on this word on the text page. If you've had to look up this definition multiple times, well, maybe it's worth putting it on your special list. Next, we have a random line. Think of this as a quasi sortes regiliani. Ask a question and see if Virgil gives you the answer you want to hear with this line. Hey Virgil, how helpful will this site be? Click on the line and be taken to the section in the text where this verse falls. And finally, the last two panels show the sections you've most recently marked as favorite and completed. Use these tools to help you work through the Aeneid. Next in the navigation is your list of personalized vocab words. These are words that you've marked with a star while reading. So here's one of the text pages, the famous bit about Marcellus the Younger, with the miserande puer. If we click on miserande, we'll get the dictionary definition, and let's click on the star to make it turn green. Now it shows up when we refresh this vocab page. This is a way to mark words that you've had significant issue with and putting them all in the same place. The text also has the ability to add notes, and so I'll make a comment under the line by clicking on this plus sign that miserande puer is vocative singular and that the puer refers to Marcellus. Now when I go back to my dashboard and click on notes, you can see that this most recent note comes up at the top. You know, I, I really like this section about Marcellus, so I'm going back to this section and I'm going to click on the heart. This now will put the section in my list of favorites back on the dashboard. And when I feel I'm confident in my understanding of these lines, and maybe when I've taken the test, I'll mark these complete. These last four features are all about organization, but I also allow teachers to organize their students by means of classrooms. If we go to the classroom section, you'll see that I can both create and join classrooms. And it's so simple now to do both. To create a classroom, we click this button and add in a name, and the classroom is now created. You can enroll others in this room with this code. So I've stolen a code from another classroom, so let's join this other class by typing in the code, and the dash is optional, by the way. And when you create or join a class, it automatically sets it as your active class, and that is marked with the green check mark and outline. Classrooms are a great way to organize bulk subscriptions, and this is a feature that I hope to add a lot more to in the future. And speaking of subscriptions, the next bit in our trip down the dashboard is the subscription section. I'll address this in more depth in a different video, so we'll leave this for now. And finally, in the profile section, you can change your profile picture by clicking on it, and file uploads are limited to one megabyte. You can also edit your email and name and change your password. This has been an in-depth look at one bit of the new revamped version of Aenea.co. Stay tuned for more or check out the tool yourself by navigating to the site. 
gratias maximas.